Here we are at Corralin Valley Golf Club on the 5th, par 3. Well, that's, that's called a postage stamp hole. 1,000 metres downhill. I think it was uh, oh. 223 metres. Yeah. Uh, but I think we were playing more like 180, 189, 185. Yeah, well, I had a bad four line and it got to the front edge, which is... So <laughs> Don't do that normally. A long way downhill. So surrounded by bunkers, pure hole. It's one of the most famous holes here at Corralbin Valley. Uh, we have a little bit more testing, a little bit more of a product look here, which is the limited edition Jason Day putter. We've been having a little bit of a putt with that, Richo as well. Um, but James loves this thing. Oh yeah. Why do you like it, mate? Started. Look at the red, mate. It's red, isn't it? No, it's definitely it's something different. Which obviously there's not many red putters going around. There's obviously different coloured drivers, but there's not different coloured. Correct. Really and I think red putters. excites the yeah. visually excites your mind. So, uh, but Jason Day has been using a variation of this putter. Uh, the biggest difference with this one is that it's a double bend shaft, whereas Jason Day's actually got the um, slant neck on it. Well, a little picture will pop up. Um, I think the best thing it just. When it sits down, it makes you have a little bit of a forward press, which is always like what you're looking for when, when a good setup. So it yeah. kind of it forces you into a good setup before you even like like if your technique is bad, or something like this, without even changing anything, it would just straight up set you up in a better better setup. Like as soon as you put it down, it just has to. It does. It, it does set up quite good. You you do want to kind of just have a yeah. little tiny press. Um, it's got the aluminium pure roll insert on it, uh, so it does feel. I suppose yeah, more, it feels awesome. Yeah, more like a mill yeah. putter. Yeah, uh, it's just got a firmer feel to it. I think for me, that bloody white line on the red really stands out. Yeah. Really stands out. Now this is the Itsy Bitsy Spider, uh, which they they basically bought out I think 2011 ish. Yeah. Um, I, I remember using it a bit of nostalgia with this thing. It's a smaller spider head, really high MOI, um, but visually sets up I suppose maybe to the better player because uh, yeah. the daddy long legs it was yeah it was a Big. massive head yeah. it was massive <laughs> um whereas this is a little bit more playable i think it is in the plastic still guys because uh taylor made in australia here has allowed us to do some filming with this it is a limited edition so we don't want to worth it eh? we so don't want to wreck it we yeah. don't want to wreck it so we're babying it's got black shaft as well jason day's got a black shaft in that uh but yeah the only real difference is the neck yeah but it does feel mint off the oh, face yeah. and it looks mint to look at. So mm. guys, if you can get your hands on the Jason Day Spider Limited, do so guys. Yeah, 100%. It, it's going to be a collector's item. And uh, if nothing else, it looks fantastic in the red. <laughs> Thanks James for coming to Corralbin Valley and doing some testing with us. Um, you, fantastic putter. Uh, we'll see you next time guys. Comment down below on anything else you want us to do. We'll see. Cheers. Cheers.